then, a few weeks after that, they told me they had, they had misplaced the file, and they found the file, and I got a stack of documents probably that could sit in a red room like this. That's what I got, okay? Fast forward to almost a year ago today, it'll be a year, it'll be a year tomorrow, February 9th, 2016, Jerry Brady called me and said, I'm not gonna reopen the case. He wouldn't tell us why, he wouldn't tell us who he talked to, he said, I didn't, I'm not doing a written report, that's all I'm gonna tell you. We continued to seek discovery. We continued to do FOIA requests. And we did a FOIA request for documents pertaining to any investigation that took place after James Clark confessed, documents pertaining to James Clark, specifically Lester Mason, specifically Matthew Clark. We were told there were no documents. We did a FOIA for documents relating to the civil lawsuit. We were given some documents, and we have proceeded under that course. And in this case, numerous times, the state's attorney has come into this courtroom, especially when we argued it was a conflict of interest, because what came out was the state's attorney didn't talk to Cleve Heidelberg, the state's attorney did not talk to Lester Mason, the state's attorney did not talk to Matthew Clark, and what we showed, and we proved it through the telephone record, that the only person the state's attorney talked to, which he admitted, was Ron Hamm, the former prosecutor, who was his mentor and friend. And we demonstrated the conflict of interest there. But then throughout those proceedings, the state's attorney even filed an affidavit saying he did a complete and thorough review. And what's absolutely shocking and stunning to me, and I don't think I can overstate this, we're on the eve of the third stage evidentiary hearing. We are at the final step of presenting our evidence that should set this man free after almost a half a century. We're there now, and I meet with Matt Jones, counsel for the state, to talk about witnesses and exhibits. And the reason I did this was for exactly what happened. I did not want to show up today, and all of a sudden, they're, they've got a bunch of documents I've never seen. I didn't want that to happen. Matt Jones met with me Friday. To his credit, I appreciate that, and to his credit, I appreciate he made available to me the documents that he intended to use, okay? Not everything, he didn't, he didn't, he did, gave me what he wanted to use today. And he told me, and this is what was so troubling. He said, Larry Evans found four boxes of documents in the basement of the courthouse. And I went through those, but none of those pertain to the civil lawsuit. So I said, none of these pertain to the civil lawsuit. So he said, he told Larry Evans to check again. And then he found some other file that related to the civil lawsuit, okay? So what he made available to me were two categories of documents. 